where do I begin? Okay, family, I want to address this, this Texas school shooting. All the missed signs and the coward cops, the cowardly cops. So this kid shoots his grandmother in the face and she calls the police and they go after him and he crashes a truck, point number one. So he crashes a truck and the police see him get out with a long gun. Now, I'm gonna bring this up because I think somebody needs to bring it up. I think initially the cops thought this was a white kid, so they didn't wanna hurt him. You remember uh, this Rittenhouse kid walked around after he shot people, walking around with his AR-15, and then they babied him, took him to get something to eat. Now, I guarantee you, if that would have been a black kid, they would have mowed him down on the spot. But yet they allowed him to escape their presence with a gun and ammunition. And you're telling me, with the cops that was there, that there's such a poor shot that nobody could shoot this kid and stop him? Point two. So he was a student at the school and he knew how to get in. And they said that perhaps a teacher may have left the door open. So he gets into the school and he starts his barrage of shooting. Now they already know he's armed with a long gun. And they are. And the cops gather outside waiting for backup for almost an hour. These kids are on the phone calling 911, begging for help. The parents are outside begging for help. Over an hour, they're begging for help and nobody's coming to their rescue. Now I'm gonna try not to cuss because my wife said somebody might see this and think ill of me, but these, y'all help me because I might cuss before this is over. So you got cops who know that there's an active shooter. But now I want to bring this point up. See, nobody's saying this. Every one of those children that died and those two adults were all Hispanic. Anybody pay attention to that shit? They were all Hispanic. I guarantee you, if this would have been a little white school with blue-eyed, freckle-faced, red-haired kids, Rambo's ass would have jumped out the ceiling and took this little bastard out. But nobody cares about the black and the brown kids. Now you can say what you want. They says, well, we were outgunned. And then we get this dumbass that says, well, maybe we need to arm the teachers. They had security protocol on uh, already uh, planned for this school. There was security there, armed guards. What freaking good did that do? But once again, we're underestimated, undervalued. Nobody cares about the brown people. So instead of them rushing this kid, they says, well, we had to wait for backup. We had to wait for the proper equipment. We had to wait for all, all these excuses while they let these children be slaughtered, listening to them scream. A couple of the kids even played dead, took blood off of the wounded friends laying there and smeared it on them and laid there and played dead so that the gunman wouldn't kill them because he told them I'm killing everybody in here. And they called the cops and told them. They called 911. But the cowardly lying ass cops standing outside the door, well, we can't breach the door. We can't do this. But I'll tell you, and I know I'm not wrong, if that had been a white school with white children, Rambo and all the rest of you gun-toting sons of bitches would have broke through that door and took him out. Nobody cares about us. And then we get the lion-ass governor on there who's going to the NRA convention and he's blaming the, the kid instead of the guns. We have a gun problem in America. There's no reason an 18-year-old should be able to buy a, a weapon of mass destruction 
with all that ammunition. And where did he get the money from? He don't have no job. He's a high school dropout. Where the hell did he get money to buy two ARs and a thousand rounds of ammunition? Somebody please tell me. We have too many guns on the street. I had to defriend somebody today because they're talking about it's not the pro the gun is not the problem. It's the people. Yeah, the people are the problem. You're damn right. But the guns, we have a flood of guns. And when you have a flood of guns with mentally unstable people, you're going to have some catastrophes to happen. We need to take the guns off the street. We need to start limiting who can buy a gun to drive a car. That can kill somebody. You got to have a driver's license. You got to have testing. You got to go through all this different stuff. But to buy a gun, you can walk in any Tom, Dick, or Harry walk in pretty much and buy a gun. Pretty much and buy a gun. Because the gun lobbyists have made it so that they care more about the gun than they do about our people, than they do about these children. Now, anybody notice that every one of these mass shootings in the last several years have been 17, 18, 18, 18, 19, 20 year olds? And then when they say they're going to do something, nobody stands up and says, hey, little Mikey over there has got a problem. He's posting, he's going to shoot somebody. And they just let him go out and shoot. I'm containing myself because I really want to say some bad words. And I think I slipped up and said a few of them, but I don't give a damn. Now, here's a solution. Because we got uh, Eddie Munster, Ted Cruz's ass on TV and cripple-ass Abbott on there who wants to blame the, the, the children instead of the guns that's available to these fruitcakes. November, we have an election with every fiber in my body and it should be in yours. Get your asses out and vote. To my nieces down in Texas who you think it don't matter, vote. Everybody needs to get out and fucking vote. Vote, vote, vote. Vote these bastards out that don't care about us. They don't care about the economy. They, all they care about is this coming from those people that back them. That's all they care about. Vote. I'm telling you, vote and we can solve this problem that's all i have to say for tonight i'm sorry i took up seven minutes of your time and i hope you listen to the whole thing but get your asses out register and then get your asses out and vote